Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another episode of Utah Cross Gacha videos. Before we begin with all the gacha stuff, let's talk about what has been happening the last few days during the event. So I'm sure some of you who have been trying to clear um, the Mirage full combo challenge, well, you notice that probably, you know, the particular song Dancing in the Moonlight, another version, was not playable during the time of its initial release for that particular event song. So yeah, it's, it's actually a bug in game and yeah, it occurred on the 8th of July. So the developers have finally fixed it if you guys have not been following me on my Facebook page, please do so because that's where I normally update such critical um, situations within the game of Utah Macross itself. So as of yesterday, um, this, um, the 9th of July, um, it has been fixed. And the developers decided to do something pretty generous. Um, they did extend the event date up to the 15th of July um, 2021. So you guys have extra few days to try and, you know, um, complete Mirage's full combo challenges because well technically the current event itself doesn't really let you play um, songs outside from its own event page list of songs so yeah the mission requirements songs for Mirage's full combo um, challenge is technically outside of that page so you're gonna need extra energy to clear um, those mission tasks, so you're gonna have to use those energy ethers that you've got stored up. I'm sure most of you guys who are old players like myself will probably have a few hundred pieces lying around. But for the new players, um, sadly to say, you guys have to rely a bit on you know time and uh, energy restoration, the old school way of getting you know a chance to play those event songs. Especially since you need to full combo that particular song um, and it's highest difficulty that you can master. So if you fail the first time, you're gonna have to wait to replenish your energy again. You know that kind of stuff, the usual gaming mechanics. And it can be a bit of a pain <laughs> because um, we don't always have a lot of time to play. And the worst thing is you need the energy for the current ongoing event aside from Mirage's full combo missions um, that need to be cleared as well. So, yeah. So, they did give us 10 singing stones as an apology present as well, um, which technically can be used to restore energy as well. But, you know, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd rather you keep the 10 singing stones for a future uh, featured gacha that fancies you, you know? So, alright, with all that information done, let's move on to the actual thing today, which is Ranka's 5-star gacha. So let's take a look at Ranka's episode play. As you can tell, um, we are pretty familiar by now that the event gacha tickets are featured only on the first uh, event gacha for each event. So, there are only three events that technically will be covered by event gacha tickets, uh, excluding the Red Boss events. So, only the first gachas that appear for the first event, which is the ticketing event. The second event, which is the current one we're going through, which is the Kuji event. And of course, the last one, be it um, the Diva Improvement event or the High Score Challenge event, because usually they now rotates. Each event at the end of the month. So with that said, let's talk about Ranka's brand new five-star episode plate. Um, and let's see. Ooh, it has a 3,956 total score. Is this Ranka's better six-star episode plate? Let's see. So it has pretty well decent stats um, distributed around. Just that it focuses a bit more on voice, considering that the Ninjin Loves You Yeah event song does require that particular stat to get better high scores. So yeah. So pay attention to the other three divas that can use Ranka's episode plate because that is gonna be very helpful 
when it comes to the last event for this month which is the diva improvement event where you only can use one diva at a time and you know not there are not that many episode plates that each of the individual divas can use on their own um, that's why setting up for that event is kind of a pain <laughs> all right center skill star plate up so all the star series plates total will be boosted by 60% which is fantastic actually this is a pretty good center skill um, so let's take a look at its active skill to see whether this episode plate is actually usable for this current event as a center position rather than using a 7 star episode plate active skill for 5 seconds your score is boosted by 70% up so not the best for a 6 star version episode plate skill um, we've seen Makina with awesome stats and with an active skill of the old 6 star episode plates which is 10 seconds 100% boost in score so that's kind of a bit unfair <laughs> Maki Maki is still in the top for 6 star episode plates in the center position right now so alright life skill um, we've got score, repeat and damage which is pretty good so overall this seemed to be Ranka's better 6 star episode plate um, from the yellow series of course um, so at the uh, start of every 30 seconds for 7 seconds your life is decreased by 20 every second and of course you get that 95% boost in score if you guys are not familiar with how score repeat skills are um, they just reactivate after a certain time period um, which is that 30 second duration then of course um, score and damage abilities basically just drain away your HP and of course gives you a very good boost in score but uh, be it how wonderful the life skill is you know there is a challenge with the current event itself basically you take more damage if you miss notes and Ninjin loves you yeah can be a bit tricky especially for those of you who are trying to tackle extreme difficulty uh, I myself play it on extreme and sometimes when I get very exhausted I tend to mess up so yeah it's always good to have that center position episode play that recovers HP you know rather than having Ranka in the center position with this episode play you know all right so moving along let's take a look at the last page to determine how useful this episode plate is is it actually better Maki Maki 6 star episode plate with all its insane stats and skills on it sadly to say no it's slightly a step down from Maki Maki's level but it's still pretty good considering that it's got such a good high total score awesome skills on this episode plate so overall even if you guys are not a Ranka stand um, I would highly recommend you to at least attain a copy of this episode plate it's probably one of Ranka's better 6 star episode plates out there right now uh, aside from all those episode plates with special notes attachment but still in terms of stats on an episode plate this is definitely one of Ranka's best so with that said let's do the usual ritual um, if you guys are wondering what time I'm recording this video it's technically the afternoon session on the next day that this gacha video has been released mainly well uh, I have a full-time job so you guys know uh, if I can't record the video <laughs> on the day the gacha is released it means that I am working during that time period so it's kind of a bummer but anyways let's do this we'll start with the free daily pool um, from the featured gacha and of course the daily gacha itself as usual let's test the waters to see how the luck is hmm, no Valkyrie animations that's kind of a bummer but let's see how good the common episode play is Probably can determine the luck for today. Probably. Alright, got some Cheryl love. So it's a pretty decently rare episode plate. Don't have too many copies for it. But that Valkyrie animation is kind of worrying. You know, not having the animation around is kind of a sign that it might be a bad day. <laughs> might. You know, we've seen surprises here and there. Once in a while. Oh, we do get a bit of a load for this one. 
Okay. I guess they heard me complain while making this video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ooh! Costume points. And it's a new one. That's a good sign. I hope it is. Alright, so we do have the event gacha tickets. So technically we have 20 episode plates to poo poo from Ranka's featured gacha. And of course, we still have Super Dimension tickets. Oh, they are not expiring till the end of the month. So I actually can hold on to them. That's good. What about my guaranteed 5 star? Okay, all at the end of the month. So it's actually not necessary to use in this episode. So let's do this, guys. I'm gonna go with the 10 event gacha tickets first. And of course, if I need to, I will pay 500 sing stones to do a regular pool. After all, Ranka is my waifu, and I really want that episode play. <laughs> or rather, the costume. Here we go. Alright, three Valkyries. Oh, neighbors being busy. We get a single red box on the first bling. Two red boxes. Hopefully, one of them evolves. Okay, sadly, this one doesn't. Get a bit of a color. So far, all the Frontier Plates, that's pretty nice. Oh, just when I said all Frontier, pop in Delta. Here we go. Aww, no evolution, but I think this, is this a new episode plate? No, it's not. Oh, okay, at least it evolved, that's not too bad. So, kind of flunked on the first template pool, but that's okay. Hopefully, it leads up to something good. So, with this, we move on to our discounted template pool. Hopefully, this does the trick so I don't have to spend extra singing stones. <laughs> it's always good to save for the future. Alright, ooh, no. That's not good. Oh, two red boxes on the first blink. Three! Oh no. The placement of the red boxes does kind of hint to how things will end up, so... It's always good to have all the rare ones at the end of the whole gacha pool. Oh boy. Seems like I might have to go for the third round. Oh! There it is! The basic requirement. Oh, I just realized that we didn't get that in the first template pool. Dang! <laughs> I always enjoy this image. You know, uh, having Ozma spitting out his coffee. <laughs> Finding out Ranka is an idol. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got the notification for costume points to Ranka's. Uh, Navy Treasure costume, so yeah, if you guys are wondering what the costume name is, is this an episode plate to that? Oh, no it isn't. Huh. Alright. So, I'm gonna give this one more go. Yeah, I'm gonna pay that 500 singing stones. Hopefully, at least we get something good. Alright. My last chance. Oh. Very quick load. It's kind of worrying. Yay! Five Valkyries! Alright, two red boxes on the first bling. There we go, we got ourselves a rainbow. No evolution on this one, that's kind of a bummer. But it's okay. Hopefully that rainbow box is the main featured plate. Alright, more costume points, that's always welcome. Yay! Alright! Here we go! Yay! We got it! It pays off to try a little harder sometimes. <laughs> Alright! That's fantastic! So I can unlock Ranka's costume, I think today? You know, 
I think I do have a rare up star sitting around. Hopefully it's expiring soon, you know, so I don't have to waste it. Let's do this, let's do this. Unlocking Raka's costume right here. Alright, let's switch over to Ranka. Okay, there it is. Okay, hey, quite a bit of points. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Alright, let's see how the rare up star situation is. Oh, it's expiring in September. Okay, I've got two of them, so why not use one of them now? It's good to at least have one featured episode play for the event so I can gain the extra bonus boost. Why not? So let's do this. Gonna power it up. There it is, the infograph, or rather the notification. Dang, the neighbors are noisy, noisy today. <laughs> uh, I apologize for all the weird noises in the video, but you know, this is what happens when you don't live in a private house and yeah, the neighbors are just very active. Okay, let's do this. Let's unlock Ranka's costume. Okay, so there it is, Ranka's Navy Treasure Costume, uh, like I said previously in the uh, monthly update video. It is not exactly Ranka's new costume, it's um, an old costume that was featured on the Macross Frontier Blu-ray box art. Um, so yeah, I'm sure most of you guys who are familiar with all the old Macross Frontier merchandisers will probably know where this costume comes from. And Cheryl has an exact same design as well. Um, have we seen her gotten it yet? I don't think so, right? So yeah, look forward to it in the future, Cheryl fans. Uh, probably next year's summer collection, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so yeah, another year of wait for Cheryl fans. So let's move on. Anyways, that's about it, guys. What do you guys do? Um, get for yourselves this time round. Let me know in the comments down below Did you get Ranka's episode play or maybe did you do um, the 7 star featured gacha pools because you really want Minmei or Basara's 7 star episode play or are you just saving up for the future swimsuit costumes of the other divas that are coming out uh, Cheryl, Mikumo, um, I I think the next one is Milena. No, it's Reina. Reina. Oh god, I forgot. This month is the month of green team, which is my two waifus. <laughs> Reina and Ranka. Oh god. Uh, I don't have enough singing stones for Ray Ray's second pool. So that's kind of a bummer. But, anyways, um, we are drawing closer to the Nyan Nyan Matsuri. Um, anniversary Eve celebrations. So hopefully you guys are ready to toss your wallets into the the, the hole of despair, which is Utah Cross, because the discounted special packs are coming soon with those Nyan Nyan Kuji tickets. So hopefully you guys are ready. And of course, next month is the real challenge um, with all the anniversary celebration stuff so that's really going to be a pinch on the wallet if you guys are not spending this month like probably i am <laughs> so hey anyway guys thank you guys for joining me on another video as always i really appreciate it if you watched through the entire video talk to me in the comments section down below and of course doing all the wonderful stuff like leaving a like 
sharing the video to your friends and of course subscribing to the channel if you are brand new until then guys i'll see you guys in the next video which is probably let's see i might upload monster hunter stories 2 first or a new episode of no nerdy games let's see until then bye